CMA, the Continental Music Alliance, presents Pro Music This Week. Tonight, Elroy Purvis and the Ten Foot Pole Cats. Newcomers, Streetwise. Also, the Bums, Dutch Moran, Clearcut Brothers, Domino Augmentus, and the Humble Flock. Now, Here's Brent Brown and the Cosmic Swan. Okay, all that and a lot more on tonight's action-packed pro music this week with myself, Brent Brown, and with me, as always, my co-host, the Cosmic Swami. That's right. The guiding hand of truth and light is here to show these people what real truth and light's all about for once, Brent Brown. Well, maybe you could shed a little light on the situation that happened earlier this week with uh, Major Beauregard and Elroy Purvis. Once again, uh, m- throwing a monkey wrench into the musical works there. I mean, hey, man, it was the pole cats, the 10 foot pole cats through the monkey wrench. Hardly. It, obviously, anyone can see. Well, let's see if anyone can see, if they see through your perfect clairvoyance. So let's watch this clip. Earlier this week, uh, well, we're going to run this in its entirety so you can judge for yourself. Well, I see Elroy's got that guitar strapped on again. Uh, can he actually play that thing? Hey, man, he can play anything. And well, you know, I, Earl here, he's the problem. Well, Leroy's... Uh, you see him spinning that bass? And the Major's told Earl that he had to take solos that were half as long. I don't know only, why he only would do that. Only six bars. Just pay attention and play the song. Yes, sir. If you can. Yes, sir. Well, I think that's unfair. Brent Brown, he is just hamming it up too much. And that's why he's only getting six bars on this one. Is that guitar plugged in? Yeah, it is plugged in. What do you know? All right, Tennessee Tussle when I always clap. Yeah. A, B, and E, I believe. And uh, typical down-home uh, dirt kicker. Fans always like this song, and tonight's no exception. Major uh, standing in approval. There's uh, Earl going for it. Look at those fans, they're loving it. Yeah, that's a sour mash run. Tallahassee turnaround. Hey man, that's been more than halfway. Oh, wait a minute. That's an Appalachian he, uh, 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 arpeggio. He's going for another second solo. Oh, the fans, man, they are loving it. Man, he's going way out of line. Oh, look I don't think Elroy's the, happy. Look at the look on Elroy's face. Man. Yikes. Man. It's going to be heck to pay later. Elroy seems a little bit distracted. What are you telling me? You but the Polecats are a top four. Look at them. Look at them go. Well, I'm sure Elroy's going to get back at Earl. Earl looks pretty happy to me. Uh-oh. I mean, he's plugged in. He's never taken a solo. He's out there fishing. It's a fishing expedition. Uh, somebody must have beaten oh, his guitar. Oh, he's just sugar putting out there. No, no, no. He was, he's not solo, sugar solo was not planned. He is not sugar putting. Elroy does not know what he's doing He out knows there. what he's doing. Somebody Somebody should sabotage. unplug that guitar. It's sabotage, Brett Brown. No, those guys just don't know how to back Elroy it up. Elroy just walked the plank. He went for it and fell hey, off man, in the deep end. They backed him up like wet cardboard. Those boys are the best backup in band in the business. Elroy should be happy to have Fire. Whoa. I can't believe this. It's back on the bus to the Nashville major has for these lost guys. His mind. The best thing that ever happened to Elroy Purpose was the 10 foot pole cast, and now they're fired? Yep. Apparently, the major knows best. And there they go. Back to the check catching place, baby. This is suicide. Suicide for who? For the Major and Elroy. Man. They're done for. Yeah, I like to see the Polecats find a job. Okay, well, there's more on this situation to come, and we have interviews with both parties a little bit later. 